This video demonstrates the installation of the universal range hood for 30, 36, and 48 inch models. It covers the installation instructions for the UVW9304, UVW9364, and UVW9484 models. There are three methods for venting. Vertical venting through the ceiling or the soffit and horizontal venting through the back wall. All three methods will be covered in this video. Before proceeding with the installation, please ensure to switch off the power and lock the service panel. Use metal ductwork to reduce the risk of fire. Utilize a qualified technician for proper installation to reduce the risk of personal injury or damage to the product. Dimensions of the 30, 36, and 48 inch wall mount hoods are displayed on the screen. 30 inch models require a 30 inch opening. 36 inch models require a 36 inch opening. 48 inch models require a 48 inch opening. The hardware supplied along with the product is displayed on the screen. The hardware required to install the range hood is displayed on the screen. Note that these are not provided with the product. For removing the packaging, follow these steps. Remove all the parts and the hood body. Properly discard the protective plastic wrapping and other packaging materials. For removing the shipping film, follow these steps. Grasp a corner of the protective shipping film and slowly peel it from the appliance surface. Avoid using sharp items to remove the film. Apply a household liquid dishwashing detergent with a soft cloth and allow it to soak to remove adhesive from shipping film. To vent through the ceiling, you will need a duct cover kit. Purchase the duct cover kit separately. Universal duct cover kits come in 8 feet, 10 feet, and 12 feet sizes to accommodate different ceiling heights as shown in the table. Duct cover kit comes with a lower and upper duct cover. The upper duct cover slides into the lower duct cover to reach the desired heights. The kit also includes mounting brackets and screws to secure duct covers to the wall. The lower duct cover can be used alone and must be secured with duct cover bracket. For vented installations, Recirculation holes can be hidden by installing the upper duct cover upside down. To accurately locate studs, ductwork, and electrical service, make sure that the vent hood and duct cover are on site before final framing and wall finishing. The key considerations for determining duct cover installation height are as follows. The hood duct covers can be adjusted for different ceiling heights depending on the distance between the bottom of the hood and the cooktop. The distance is to be minimum of 24 inches for electric range and 30 inches for gas range or cooktop. The recommended maximum is 36 inches. The length of the upper duct cover should be minimum of 5 inches and maximum of 27 inches and the length of the lower duct cover should be 19 and a half inches. The height from the floor to the top of the cooktop should be 36 and 38 inches for electric and gas ranges respectively. Refer to the installation manual for the installation height table. Avoid using flexible vent. It creates back pressure and air turbulence that greatly reduces performance. The hood is designed to be vented through the ceiling with an 8-inch round duct or 10-inch round duct. Before proceeding with the duct installation, Please ensure to use metal ductwork only. Route the venting exhaust to the outdoors. Maximize the ventilation performance of the vent system by minimizing the duct run length and number of transition and elbows. Maintain a constant duct size and seal all joints with aluminized duct tape to prevent leaks. Purchase wall or roof caps in advance and install them with damper at the exterior opening. Install any makeup, replacement, air system in accordance with local building code requirements. Before proceeding with the installation, please ensure to remove house fuse or open circuit breaker. Do not use an extension cord or adapter plug with this appliance. Supply the vent hood with 120 volt, 60 hertz, 
and protect it with 15 or 20 amp circuit breaker or time delay fuse. Wiring must be two wire with ground. Call a licensed electrician if the electrical supply does not meet the above requirements. Let's first look at the procedure for venting through the ceiling. To install the hood onto the wall, measure desired distance from the bottom of the hood to the cooking surface, 24 inches minimum over electric range or 30 inches minimum over gas range and 36 inches recommended maximum. Use a level to draw the cooktop center line location. Draw a horizontal line indicating the bottom of the hood and draw another horizontal line 16 and 3 quarters inches up from the bottom of the hood indicating the bottom of the installation bar. For venting through the ceiling, measure 6 and a quarter inches from the back wall to mark center point. Cut 8 inch diameter duct hole for 30 inches and 36 inch models from the center point on the ceiling. Cut 10 inch diameter duct hole for 48 inch models from the center point on the ceiling. Locate the duct cover wall brackets from the duct cover kit. Place one duct cover wall bracket against the back wall so that the top edge is 1 16th inch from the ceiling and level. Align the center of the bracket with the center line of the hood. Mark bracket holes. Remove the bracket and drill two pilot holes into the framing with 1 16th inch drill bit. Secure the bracket to the wall using screws. To route house wiring through the wall, measure 15 and 3 quarter inches from the bottom of the hood and 9 and 3 quarter inches for 30 inch models and 10 and a half inches for 36 and 48 inch models to the left of the center line and mark the location. Cut one and a quarter inch diameter hole at the marked location. To install hood support, locate at least two vertical studs for the installation bar by tapping drywall with a hammer or use a stud finder. This will ensure that the hood will be supported. Center the installation bar left to right above the marked line. Hold the bar against the wall. Mark the intersection of the stud line and the hole in the installation bar on the left and right sides. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes through the drywall and into the studs. Secure the installation bar to the vertical studs with supplied screws. To drill bottom mounting hole locations, hang hood on installation bar and mark the screw hole locations. Remove the hood. If the marked locations fall on a stud, drill 1 16th inch pilot holes. If the marked locations do not fall on a stud, Drill 5 16th inch clearance holes at marked locations A and B. Install wall anchors by tapping the anchors with a hammer to seat the teeth of the flanges into the wall. Drive the anchor screws until the barrels crimp against the inside of the wall. Remove the screws from the wall anchors before installing the hood. The motor mounting plate comes pre-installed in the hood for top venting. To install top damper, screw the top damper to the hood body from the top and seal with aluminized duct tape. To install hood onto the wall, pull house wiring through knockout at the back or top of the hood. Lift the hood and place over the hooks on the installation bar and check if the hood is centered. Remove the cover from the junction box inside the hood. Pull the house wiring through the knockout at the back of the hood and secure with the strain relief. Tighten the wall anchor screws to finish hood body installation to the wall. To connect the ductwork for vented installation, connect the house ducting to the top damper and seal all connections with aluminized duct tape. To connect the ductwork for non-vented installation, purchase a recirculation duct UXCN90 and charcoal filter UXCF91 and attach the recirculation duct to the duct cover mounting bracket with screws provided. Connect the ducting from the exhaust outlet on the hood to the recirculation duct and use aluminized duct tape to seal the connections. The duct cover kit comes with upper and lower duct covers. The duct cover kits come in three sizes to accommodate different ceiling heights. 
8 feet, 10 feet, and 12 feet kit for all models. To install the duct cover kits, refer to the table shown on screen for the dimensions. The duct cover kit also contains wall brackets and a hardware package. The installation hardware includes duct cover brackets to secure duct covers to the wall. Before beginning the installation, ensure that the package has all the materials listed here. Install the three duct cover brackets into the slots located on top of the hood. Secure them to the hood using screws. Secure the upper duct cover to the wall bracket using screws. Once upper duct is secured, place the lower duct cover on top of the hood. Slightly spread the sides of the duct cover apart and snap to the upper duct cover. Secure the lower duct cover to the two duct cover brackets using two screws. Duct cover kit installation is complete. Let's next look at the procedure for venting through the back wall. To install the hood onto the wall, measure desired distance from the bottom of the hood to the cooking surface, 24 inches minimum over electric range or 30 inches minimum over gas range and 36 inches recommended maximum. Use a level to draw the cooktop center line location. Draw a horizontal line indicating the bottom of the hood and draw another horizontal line 16 and 3 quarter inches up from the bottom of the hood indicating the bottom of the installation bar. For ducting through the rear wall, purchase back damper accessory UXBDA812 separately. Measure 3 and 3 quarter inches up along the center line from the bottom of the hood. Make a 10 and a half inches by 13 and quarter inches cutout centered left to right along the center line. To route house wiring through the wall, measure 15 and 3 quarter inches from the bottom of the hood and 9 and 3 quarter inches for 30 inch models and 10 and a half inches for 36 and 48 inch models left of the center line and mark the location. Then cut a one and a quarter inch diameter hole at the marked location. Remove the rear knockout. To install hood support, locate at least two vertical studs for the installation bar by tapping drywall with a hammer or use a stud finder. Center the installation bar left to right above the marked line. Hold the bar against the wall. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes through the drywall and into the two vertical studs. Secure the installation bar to the two vertical studs with supplied screws. To drill bottom mounting hole locations, hang hood on the installation bar to mark the screw hole locations. Remove the hood. If the marked locations fall on a stud, drill 1 16 inch pilot holes. If the marked location does not fall on a stud, Drill 5 16 inch clearance holes at marked locations A and B. Install wall anchors by tapping the anchors with a hammer to seat the teeth of the flanges into the wall. Drive the anchor screws until the barrels crimp against the inside of the wall. Remove the screws from the wall anchors before installing the hood. To install back damper, uninstall the motor mounting plate from the top venting position. Remove the square knockout for back venting and install the motor mounting plate. Install the back damper to the hood body. Install the metal plate provided with the accessory to cover the opening for top damper. To connect the ductwork, connect the transition piece to the back damper. To install hood onto the wall, pull house wiring through knockout at the back or top of the hood. Lift the hood and place over the hooks on the installation bar and check if the hood is centered. Remove the cover from the junction box inside the hood. Pull the house wiring through the knockout at the back of the hood and secure with the strain relief. Tighten the wall anchor screws to finish hood body installation to the wall. Let's next look at the procedure to install the hood underneath the soffit. Before proceeding with the installation, please ensure to Construct the soffit with 2x4 framing. Use a level to draw the cooktop centerline location. 
Install horizontal wood supports between the 2x4s at distance A to the left and right according to the table. Extend the house ducting to the bottom of the soffit and maintain B opening according to the table on screen to accommodate the hood damper. To route house wiring through the soffit, cut a one and a quarter inch diameter hole in the soffit located one and a quarter inches from the back wall and nine and three quarters inches for 30 inch models and 10 and a half inches for 36 and 48 inch models to the left of the center line. The motor mounting plate comes pre-installed in the hood for top venting. To install top damper, screw the top damper to the hood body from the top and seal with aluminized duct tape. To install hood to soffit, drill two 1 8 inch pilot holes at a distance of 10 inches from the back wall in the horizontal wood supports. Drill two more 1 8 inch pilot holes at a distance of 3 inches from the back wall in the horizontal wood supports. Drive mounting screws into the studs until they protrude a quarter inch. To secure the hood to the back wall, push hood flush to the soffit before marking screw hole locations. Remove the hood. If the marked locations fall on a stud, drill 1 16th inch pilot holes. If the marked location do not fall on a stud, drill 5 16th inch clearance holes at marked locations A and B. Install wall anchors by tapping the anchors with a hammer to seat the teeth of the flanges into the wall. Pull house wiring through the knockout at the rear or top of the hood. Connect the house ducting to the damper and seal with aluminized duct tape. Lift hood onto mounting screws and slide it back against the rear wall and tighten mounting screws. Remove junction box cover. Pull the house wiring through the knockout at the top or back of the hood and secure with the strain relief. Then drive screws to secure the hood to the back wall. This part of the installation is common to all the three types of venting methods. To make electrical connection, use UL listed wire nuts to connect incoming white to white and black to black wires. Loosen the green grounding screw with the grounding bracket in the junction box. Loop solid copper house wire clockwise around the green grounding screw and above the bracket. Firmly tighten the screw over the loop. Replace junction box cover and ensure wires are not pinched. To install motor, align the motor exhaust with the top damper for top venting or rotate the motor 90 degrees to align with the back damper for back venting. Secure the motor to the motor mounting plate using screws. Plug the motor connector into the mating connector on top of the control housing. In case of dual motor models, repeat the above steps and secure the motor wires to the motor clips. Charcoal filters are used for recirculation in certain models. The charcoal filter is not provided with a unit and must be purchased separately. To install charcoal filter, remove the grease filters and install the charcoal filter mounts to either side of the motor using three screws per side. Insert the tab on the charcoal filter into the triangular slot on the mount and clip the charcoal filter on either side until it's locked. Repeat with second filter on the other side of the motor and reattach the metal filters. Be sure the circuit breaker is off and all surfaces are cool before cleaning or servicing any part of the vent hood. Note, it is important for baffles to be placed correctly to channel grease to the drip trace and avoid grease accumulation in the baffles. The baffle filters and drip trays are dishwasher safe and should be cleaned every month, depending on the usage of the hood. To install grease drip tray, place and seat the drip trays into the designated hook track and slide them left or right until the trays are side by side in place in the track. To remove, use the grease tray lip to lift the tray upwards and out. 
The baffle's channel grease is released by foods on the cooktop into the drip trays. The baffles prevent flaming foods on the cooktop from damaging the insides of the hood. The baffles are to always be in place when the hood is in use. To install baffle grease filter, insert the top of the baffle, side without knob, into the track behind the control panel. Then, push knob side into the back and twist to lock into place. To remove, pull and twist knob and slowly pull filter down. Then, pull filter away from the track behind the control panel. By design, the maximum blower speed is greater than 400 CFM. To modify unit for local codes requiring reduced airflow, remove the baffle filters and disconnect all the harnesses from the top of control box on right side of motor. Loosen the screws on top of control box and slide out to remove it from the hood. Also, uninstall the control box cover. For a maximum of 390 CFM, the unit can operate with four speeds, low, medium, high, boost. Therefore, disconnect connectors of the brown wire. Remove the cap attached to the connector of the red wire. Connect the mating connector of the brown wire and the red wire. Attach the cap to the open brown wire connector. Reinstall the control box cover and secure the control box to the bracket in the hood using the two screws. Connect all harnesses on top of the control box and reinstall filters. The installation is complete.